story of healing and hope after a tragedy causes three families to consider how race and racial biases affect their lives. You can't possibly understand what I'm going through. I want someone who can. Do you think that I don't wake up every morning wishing it had been me? It would never happen to you. This looks so good. Mm -hmm. Noah Wiley and Aliyah Royale star in the new CBS limited series, The Red Line. And they join us this morning. Thank you so much Thank for you. coming in. It looks so good. Can mm -hmm. we just talk about the concept here of the story? Go ahead. Uh, we are looking at three Chicago families dealing with the aftermath of a tragic shooting of a, an unarmed black doctor by a white police officer. And they're dealing with this. And they have their own healing process towards what do we do now? Do we continue to let things stay the same, or do we try and affect change in a way where this can never happen again? Some very deep themes here. And the red line, obviously, for people who don't know, that's the train in Chicago, right? Yes. So it's almost a metaphor for, for sort of the divisions, racial and, and... It's the train that connects the entire city north to mm -hmm. south. The north side of the city is predominantly white side of the city, and the south side is predominantly black. And those two sides don't really ever really connect except for this one train and it also is the train that connects all of our characters and our storylines. And Noah, your partner is killed in the show and of course Aliyah plays your daughter. Yes. Can we talk about the dynamics that you're going <laughs> to be discussing in this show? Well, I play Daniel Calder. I'm a U.S. history teacher, high school history teacher, married with a daughter who's adopted, and uh, those are the three things he defines himself by, father, teacher, husband, and husband is killed. Daughter wants to find birth mother and wants to find family who will understand contextually what she's going through, and my character just doesn't want to give up that last tether to his mm -hmm. lifeline, so he's a little blind to what her needs are, as parents can be. In our attempt to help, we sometimes don't listen. And so this is really about Daniel and learning that this issue, which he hopes he could protect his family from, he can't. And uh, his daughter has needs. Yes, Jira, you know, she grew up in a very loving home, but it was almost too comfortable because race wasn't something that was discussed as much as it should have been, in a, especially in a biracial home, especially when you have an adoptive kid that's something that should be talked about more and now she's looking for her birth mother hoping that she will find someone who looks like her to mm -hmm. explain to her all of these racial issues that she didn't know existed sounds fascinating we can't wait to see it thank <laughs> yes. you guys so much for Pleasure. joining us Thanks we can see you. the red line definitely check it out it premieres this sunday night at eight on cbs 2